Future proofing is something that you may or may not have heard of depending on how into PCs you are. In this video, we're going to talk to you about and give you some information about future proofing and why it's just in general a good idea and also how it can save you a lot of money down the road. Howdy, my name is Timmy here with Sirius Power PC. And before we get too far into this video, be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as it would greatly show your support and show that you guys want to see more videos like this. Future proofing is a PC building term that gets thrown around a lot, frankly. But what does it actually mean? Well, future proofing is essentially making your PC and designing your PC, if you will, in a way that in the future you won't have to sink quite as much money into upgrading it. So <clears throat> I'll give you kind of like an example. Uh, say you have a PC and you want to upgrade the graphics card. Uh, your current graphics card is a 3070 Ti, right? And you want to upgrade to the 40 series. Well, if you just go and upgrade to the 40 series then there's a decent chance if you haven't like really looked into future proofing your pc that you'll probably need a new power supply and depending on you know depending on how big your case is maybe you also need a new case because the 4080 is too big as compared to the uh, 30 80 or 3070 that's just it's kind of an example it's not obviously super super precise right like um another example you want to get a you want to upgrade to an intel i9 instead of an i5 that you've had in your machine for the longest time well for one a jump from an i5 to an i9 is a pretty big jump but if you were to do that that would just pose a ton more problems because let's just say the i9 that you're looking at isn't even the same generation cpu that you have so the one that you want to buy the one or maybe that you've bought already might not even be the same generation so you're going to need a new motherboard you're going to need just lots of new parts that would ultimately total up a lot of money so future proofing and thinking about future proofing when you're actually building your PC is a big, big deal because down the road, if you build a PC and spend slightly more, like I'm not talking much at all, if you spend slightly more on that PC now to, I don't know, get some extra wattage or try the DDR5 platform, if you spend that extra money now, you won't have to spend the potentially hundreds extra down the road when you go to upgrade that PC. So to take all of that down into one sentence, just a super, super easy description of future proofing, future proofing is making it so that you have the parts and systems in place to not have to spend a ton of money down the road upgrading your machine. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can future-proof your PC. So, for example, uh, buying slightly more wattage than you need in your power supply. I'm not recommending going out and buying a 1500 watt power supply for a low or medium range rig, but I am suggesting get slightly more wattage than you need. A really, really helpful tool to determine wattage is PCPartPicker.com. This website literally allows you to go ahead and enter in all of the parts that you have in your PC and see exactly how much wattage you need. And I would, I would recommend, and we here at Sirius Power PC would recommend getting slightly more wattage than you need like enough to where you could upgrade a part theoretically like a graphics card a high wattage part if you wanted to upgrade the the part you currently have to a slightly higher wattage do you have enough wattage in your power supply to make that upgrade is essentially what i'm trying to say consider spending a tiny bit more on a power supply now rather than 
having to spend 100 to 150 dollars down the road if you decide that you want a newer graphics card. Also, consider looking into DDR5 RAM as opposed to DDR4 RAM. While you don't have to go with DDR5 RAM, generally mainstream sellers are going to carry DDR5 RAM for longer than they're going to carry DDR4 just because now DDR5 is the newest standard manufacturers and uh, sellers as well are going to eventually start phasing out DDR4 and DDR4 components are going to be a bit harder to find so consider going with DDR5 over DDR4 and also generally DDR5 offers faster speeds for roughly the same price as uh, DDR4 RAM so just consider that as well when thinking about uh, your budget or your build when it comes to future proofing your PC. Finally, consider I th this is one that would cost a decent bit more to go ahead and implement now, but consider a newer generation CPU and motherboard combo. Uh, for example, uh, with AMD, they have an AM4 platform, right? And the AM4 platform is cheap right now but if you consider upgrading it in the future uh it might be hard to do because newer generations of hardware are just going to make it to where a lot of the parts that you put with that platform aren't necessarily going to fit with the newer platform so consider that as well when thinking about future proofing your pc now obviously i am not suggesting you compromise your budget right you do not have to future proof your pc i just want to make that very very abundantly clear you don't have to do any of this generally from a budget standpoint it's a better idea to invest in pc components that are going to last longer but that also if they need upgrading down the road can be switched out easily and upgraded built on easily and for less money down the road future proofing your pc isn't really an extra step that you should consider it's pretty crucial when it comes down the road again you don't have to but we here at serious power pc very strongly recommend going with parts that may cost you again without compromising the budget slightly more now so that you save a lot more later anyways guys that is going to do it for this week be sure to subscribe and leave a like that will greatly greatly help us out and feed the algorithm feed the youtube algorithm and uh help our channel do better and our videos be seen by more people be sure to share this video with someone who you think needs to start and make the switch to pc gaming and just just let us know how we're doing let us know in the comments down below do you want to see uh, more videos on future proofing do you want to see more videos breaking down new tech uh developments and whatnot and do, what do you want to see us cover let us know in the comments down below my name is timmy here with serious power pc thank you all very very much for watching i'll see y'all next week with a brand new video